Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today I want to introduce you to this latest file I have for Father's Day called the Best Dad Ever Trophy or Award. There are several different ways you can make it. It comes with an option like this that's about nine inches tall and you can glue the Best Dad Ever on top there so it's easy to paint. Or you can also do a version like this that comes in both a six inch and a nine inch version where it's got the trophy in the back and best dad ever in a slot in the front. And of course you can also make them out of wood or acrylic like this one. And you can just simply engrave best dad ever right directly on it. Again, in the nine inch or the six inch version. Lots of options, lots of different ways you can make this. So let's jump into the file and I'll show you how it works. All right, you're really gonna enjoy this a lot. It's really easy to make. And the folder comes with four different options in the download folder. There's a nine inch trophy, and then there's a nine inch trophy with two slots. And then there's a six inch trophy and a six inch trophy with two slots. Let me show you what those all mean. Here's the first one, which is the nine inch uh, trophy. And let me just cover the same thing we always do every time we make a video. Black lines equal cut, green equals engrave, and the slot size is 0.12. So before you cut this, you're gonna take your calipers or the free slot sizer that I have in the download, and you're gonna measure your materials and compare that to the slot here. And if you need to, you're gonna change the size of the slot. I've got several tutorials for all of the major uh, vector programs, uh, and you can get those on my website or on my YouTube channel, but it's incredibly easy just to click on these um, slots and change them to whatever size your material calls for, all right? So here you've got a double base, and that's just the top one is slightly smaller than the bottom one, so it gives it a little bit of a more elegant look. It also gives more stability for the trophy to stand because it's a little thicker. You can use whatever thickness of material that you like for any one of these pieces. Just remember that you need to edit these slots if you're going to do something that's different than 0.12 in terms of thickness. So over here on the left, you've got an option of the trophy where you can engrave best dad ever on it. Like you saw in the intro there, there's like this one right here. You can engrave that directly on acrylic or on wood if you want. If you do it on acrylic, I really suggest that you take this piece right here and you flip it, all right, so that uh, it's backwards like this. So that when you engrave it, it looks really nice on the front. So if you're gonna engrave it on clear acrylic, I really recommend that you flip it, all right? But if you're not gonna engrave it, you don't need this piece at all. You're just gonna cut this one over here and best dad ever and the two bases, and then you'll just simply glue this piece right there and you are done, all right? So again, don't cut both trophies, just cut the one that's relative to what you're gonna do, whether it's engraving or whether it's uh, gluing the best dad ever on there. So that's that first one. The next one is the exact same thing, but it has a double base and it has a slot here in the front so that you just put best best dad ever right there into that uh, slot right there. And once again, you wanna make sure that you edit these slots for your material thickness first and uh, then everything should be good to go. That's gonna look great. The six inch ones are exactly the same. Here's the uh, one with the single base. Again, you choose whether you're going to engrave or you're gonna cut. And then the double uh, slot is again the same way uh, edit these for your material and you should be good to go. That's really all there is to this. You're going to have a lot of fun making them. Pick some colors, pick some materials that are fun. These only take not even half of a sheet of material, so they're very inexpensive to make and they'll be fun gifts to give. Let me know if you have any questions, but until next time, I'll see you in the group. Have a great time. Bye.